UMapper is one of my favorite web services, and you can sign up for an account right here. I'm at umapper.com. Type in your first name, your last name, just like normal. Read and agree to their terms of use. Sign up. Oops, I got the capture wrong. <laughs> Anyway, that's basically how you do it. Um, once you've signed up, you can go ahead and log in, and I'll show you my account here. So this is my account with um, my latest maps that I've been working on for different projects. I have a premium account which I love. I highly recommend their premium account. And to get started making a map, you just go to Create Map. Go ahead and tell it um, a title. It has to have some sort of title, but um, whatever you want to make it. And you can hit submit. It gives you a choice of different map providers. I often go with Bing Maps. Google is pretty popular. You can see here I've uploaded a map for my own purposes. And they allow you to do that here. You just um, upload a custom map and find your map on your hard drive, upload it, and it'll show right here for you and you can use it at any time. You can submit from there, or you can fine tune your template, like a uh, Twitter search map is kind of fun. If you have a premium account, you can have a custom template, which is what I have. And there's a couple different options here that are fun. Specify who you want to see the map, any tags to make it easier for search engines to find you, and miscellaneous options allows you to upload a KML. from a web page just converts like they give you this example here you can go ahead and try it there all my settings are correct and I want to submit them out it's loading hopefully this answers your questions now in another video, I showed you what to do with these once you get it into Drupal. But you see here is that map ID. So in your website, when you look for a list of maps, you will see this map ID right here. And this screen, um, I can go ahead and move the window for you to see a little better here. I have all these options of uh, markers and things like that that I can use editing the marker appearance the color anything like that lines polygons media routing link to a data feed or import data and this allows you to add a KML that you might have stored locally on your drive when you're done, you can go ahead and save it, view it. There you go, there's my map. So that's how you set up an account and get started. I hope you have fun. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll do my best to answer any questions you might have. Have a great day.